been looking forward to that. Been looking forward to this good weather too. We've had so much good weather. It's time now for a full check of that forecast tonight. Here's News 10 ABC Chief Meteorologist Steve Caparizzo and looking lovely there, Steve. Oh, I love every time I get a picture from Vroman's nose in Scary County. I I look at it because the beauty is 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 amazing. I mean the fertile farmlands, the Scahari Creek, which in this picture, you see this row of trees right here. That's the edge of the Scahari Creek and the, the mountains. We're at about 1,200 feet here. It's not a bad hike. It's not that difficult. And what you see is amazing. Fall foliage, spectacular. Tim Beebe, two or three weeks, it's going to be amazing. This is an amazing picture from this morning, sunrise. Laura Lawton, this is the Bear Swamp Preserve in Westerlo. At daybreak, the sky was literally on fire. Temps right now, I, we've shown you earlier, it's in the 40s for much of the Adirondacks. Tupper Lake 47, Scroon 49, Queensbury 52, 51 in Manchester, Ballston Spa mid 50s, Johnstown down to uh, 53 degrees. Capital Region, Colony 54, 51 in Claverick. Look at Hunter, a cool 47, 50 at Colville Skill, Peru in the Berkshires, 45, and Beckett down to 47. So it's a very cool night because of clear skies, no wind, and very dry air over us. Two more days, this big ridge of high pressure is going to drift slowly eastward, protecting us. Question is, can we hold on to it for the weekend? It's tricky. It really is a, a difficult forecast how far north the rain is going to come on Saturday. This is the storm along the Gulf Coast that will slowly work its way to the southeast coast Wednesday and Thursday. More on that coming up shortly. Short term, we're okay. If you thought today was nice, tomorrow just as nice as it was today. This is the problem, and still, we have no resolution from the computer models coming in tonight. They're like all over the place. This storm is going to rapidly intensify and track up into the mid-Atlantic coast. Rain is going to push east-northeastward, but some of the computer models actually pivot this way to the north. Right now, when you take an average of all the models, the threat of heavy rain now Southern New England, over two inches of rain. Notice how quick it drops to the north. We're right on the edge here and nothing for the Adirondacks. So we'll watch that. Could change either way. 73 tomorrow in Albany, Saratoga 74, Manchester 73, and 73 at Johnstown. Another great day, picture perfect. Down to 45 tonight, watch for some areas of fog in the valleys especially the river valleys. Any fog burns off tomorrow morning, a beautiful, beautiful day, a high of 73. Friday, spectacular, 74. First day of fall, likely becoming mostly cloudy. Best chance of showers now south of Albany. Again, that's as of now, 68. Mostly cloudy, but drying out a bit on Sunday, 70. Monday, partly sunny, 72. Cooling off, but dry weather Tuesday and Wednesday with sunshine, mid to upper 60s. Casey? Yeah, a lot to like about that forecast, Cap. Thank you.